Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Lim. Uh, today, I'm here for sharing uh, a critical topic for real MPTE, especially the diaphragm and uh, personally pressing. You should distinguish those topics and uh, should cover and understanding. All right, let's start. Uh, First of all, you should know about this. Why some people use diaphragm pressing and why some people use the pulse to lip pressing. Why different? And some questions ask about you should you sh about this. You should choose the you should distinguish and you should know the characteristics. What is different and why is different? So first, diaphragm pressing. Uh, diapra diaphragm pressing is for the minimized use of accessory muscles, like and uh, rib cages. Why is that? Because uh, diaphragm is for the uh, here, the below the chest. So using this for for it, you should you should pressing very deeper. So can be the long pressing, right? Everyone knows that. For why the why why we used to use this diaphragm pressing? If if patient with the surgery or have some limited chest range of motion or dyspnea, if patient with uh, chest pain or chest surgery, the patient cannot use this. All right, cannot use the thoracic regions. So if, if the patient using the pressing with those, uh, with this, with chest, they feel pain. If, if they pressing with the chest, they feel pain and they feel something's, something's really hard and, um, and it's hard to pressing, right? So at that time, at that time, we, we have to use, we have to teach them how, how to uh, breathe, how to breathing. Uh, with the diaphragmatic breathing. So the indications for severe and moderate COPD or the hyperinflation of the lungs. Why is that? If the lung is hyperinflation, the chest will be, will be so uh, expansion like this way. So the patient the patient might really hard to breathing with the chest, right? So you should teach them how to how to breathe. Uh, so what's the result? The respiratory rate will be decreased because it's the deep breathing, right? And the tidal volumes, of course, it will be increased because breathing is really well. And uh, about what about the dyspnea? Dyspnea can be decreased, of course, because breathing is well. That's that's good breathing, right? So how how to do how to do how to do? Think about how to do diaphragmatic breathing for long breathing, right? So inhale with your nose until the belly expansion until the diaph diaphragm decreased, right? Then exhale using your mouth. Uh, most, most, the starting point is for the semi-flower or the prone position, but, but they recommend semi-flower 30 to 45 degree position. And then using with your nose first, Inhale and exhale, but when you when you do it the exhale, you should use the hand like this way. Push the hand, your belly, when you, while while expansion, while exhaling. I mean, all right. Then the uh, result uh, I I told you already, and um, pulse the lip pressing. What's the pulse to repressing? All right. I'm sorry to miss 
first pur sorry for that <laughs> all right so what what about the persilic pressing why why we have to use persilic pressing why cannot use it diaphragmatic pressing what do you think about it yes persilic pressing is to prevent collapse collapse airways like this way when when, when you're doing persilic pressing What do you think so? Do you use diaphragm any? Diaphragm? No. No diaphragm use. So it just prevents the airways. So patients cannot uh, collapse the airways, cannot block. So they can use the breeze, right? So they can breathe well using this way. So which people which which patients needed this especially the emphysema why is that because emphysema uh emphysema is a disease that collapses the lung so it's so collapsed and destruction so it can really hurt to breathe using your lungs and uh, then then if if it is the breeze breeze can be blocked so you should keep your mind personally breathing is especially for the emphysema that's important point and of course it is for the decrease the uh, decrease the respiratory rate uh, but especially the emphysema, emphysema. So you should keep your mind. Emphysema is for the persistent pressing, and then uh, it is important, of course. That's the, that's the also critical part. Should avoid forcing exhalation. Why is that? Because yeah, using your mouth and breathe, inhale two second, then hold. then exhale four seconds so two seconds for inhale and four seconds for exhale all right that keeps your airway in order to prevent the collapse so that's it is so What's the real difference? So why why do you think uh, you should distinguish diaphragm and purse delete pressing, right? So now you you you're gonna be if if you need more information, you should you should gather some more information from YouTube or from googling website and blogger. Uh, I recommend you you to really understand those topics. You should cover it because the questions must be released from those parts. Uh, I'm sure about it. Because, uh, yeah, so I'm sure this can be really important, and you should you should you should understand really very well. However, yeah, diaphragmatic for post surgery and limited chest range of motion and for dyspnea, because the, if the chest had have pain, uh, it is hard to breathe with the chest, right? That's the point. And what about the personal pressing? You should keep keep your prevent collapse. Uh, collapse your to prevent your airways all right that's done today thank you